Guys, thought I'd share this information. Um, I have uh, been sailing a new-to-me vessel for about the last three months, and it has a fixed-mount VHF that I turn on and hear background noise all the time, you know. Thought everything was fine with it. I have the other VHF, so I never really used this one. But I went to go try to just play with it and use it, and I realized uh, I wasn't getting a signal out. And I actually started realized the antenna wasn't even plugged in in the back. But I was hearing noise and chatter, so I thought it was working. So I screwed in the antenna, and I tried to do a, send out a radio check. Nothing, no response. Um, didn't take me long to realize that I'm not getting a message out when I send with the antenna screwed in or with it screwed out. So I'm thinking, oh, there's probably a problem with the antenna up there or something. And uh, I thought, no, I saw a new antenna up there. It's maybe the VHF is bad. So I started looking up new VHFs. But then I thought, I remembered a long time ago, um, what if it is the antenna up there? And the new antenna is bad too, you know? What if something's wrong with this antenna wire that's running all the way up there? I remember I saw a video on YouTube a long time ago on how to make a VHF antenna if you're in an emergency situation using a coaxial from a TV cable, coaxial cable. You know, the stuff you plug your TV into the wall in, you know, in the old days. Um, and so I thought, let me just try it. And I did it. Um, so here I have a uh, TV coaxial cable, you know. Just your regular TV line. And first step, I had to take the rubber casing off of uh, this to expose that long copper wire. I'm sure anybody who's worked with these has seen them. So um, I cut a section about, you know, this one's about a foot and a half long. And cut off that insulator for the wire. Then I carefully separated... All that shielding material wire from from the coaxial separate it without breaking it you know then peeled that back then I had to cut off this insulator from the copper wire so then I have this the copper wire by itself exposed and the shielding here still in peace this becomes the positive of the antenna this becomes the negative of the antenna and what you want to do, is, sorry guys, I, I, it's hard with one hand here. If you stretch it out so that the positive goes one way and the negative goes the other way, you have an antenna. I took the other part and I cut off the plug. This is the plug you screw into your TV, see? So I just cut that off and threw it out. We don't didn't need that anymore. Or I cut that off, same thing. Separated that grounding material, exposed some of that inner copper wire, and then peeled back that uh, shielding, which is going to become the ground. Now get this, guys. I'm going to plug this working end right into where the VHF antenna goes, plugs into the VHF radio. And we should get reception. So I have it on the weather channel right now, and it's on. So we should be hearing... Uh, the weather coming out of the VHF, but we're not. So let's plug this in and see what happens. Look at that. Look at that, guys. This is now a VHF antenna. The straight wire. So you want to take this TV coaxial cable, separate the shielding, expose the copper, and boom. You got an emergency VHF radio antenna. And I did a radio check and I got a response right away, loud and clear. Um, why is this important? Well, we've all read stories or heard about stories of sailboats being rolled. You know, pitch poling or being rolled in storms. And if you get demasted, where's our antenna? A lot of time it's up there on the mast and it's gone. And then you go to use the VHF and you got nothing. And... Who carries an extra VHF antenna in their storage? You know, I don't know if other Southern sailors do, but I don't. Um, I saw that video a long time ago, so I carry coaxial cable because I actually make my own TV antenna with this too. And um, this is the first time I've tried it, and man, I'm, I'm it's awesome. It works great, dude. I'm t thinking about just making my own VHF antenna with that instead of going to buy one for the boat. 
But I thought that was cool. I thought I'd share that information. If you ever get demasted, just pull out some coaxial cable and make an antenna, man, so you can communicate again. You know, I got two huge rolls of this from a thrift shop for like $2 because nobody really is using it much anymore. But anyways, Anthony here, sailing in the sun. Aloha.